Hi guys, this is Alex and this is one of the final lessons of our Professional Webmasters video, video course. We already created our admin part of the final project and in this lesson I will show you how to create uh, this statistics part sorry, this statistics part of our uh, admin page and I will show you how to generate those uh, values uh, for this statistics page. This is, as you see, the final result of uh, our project and this is not the site we were building but since I'm not going to really go very deep into the statistics and I will not show you how to create a giant statistics website I will just show you the the basics of uh, the concept of using statistics in PHP and that is why I will just show you how I did it and I will not make it step by step here but it is simple nothing is complicated here so let's go to our editor and let's take a typical page for example index.php in every page of our website we are including this meta tags dot php page by using uh, this include function of php so in order to use some statistics I will need to add some code to all the pages which will update our statistics table in the database so I will go to this meta tag dot php and since it is included in all our pages I will just add some text uh, some uh, some code here this is the code I added stats it not it is not very long but it is not short okay and stats something like 50 lines okay first of all I am uh, cutting and uh, the name of the page from the URL I will show you uh, the table now from my database just a moment okay this is my stats table and I'm storing the ID here which is automatic and the user agent which is a string that is including some information about the browser of the visitor the IP and the uh, referer the page where the visitor was before he got to our page and the name of the page the name of the current page the date and the quantity of the views of this page okay let's go back to the editor and here I need to find out what is the name of the page uh, we are located on uh, right now so I'm using this sub str function uh, PHP sub str function okay and uh, what it is doing is basically taking this string which is retrieved using the server object of PHP I made a lesson about this object earlier in our course and uh, here we will have actually the string of our URL of the current URL okay uh, the server object with the uh, attribute script name will give us the URL and then we are checking for the position of our slash sign the last slash in the URL and we are adding one so basically here is a position uh, integer so we are taking the URL string for example let's take a look at a sample URL okay C shop slash stats and uh, this uh, position function will find out uh, the location of the first letter after the slash and then the substring function will take the our string and cut everything that is before this position 
For example, if we had the string Alex, and we were using the sub str function with Alex and the number uh, 2, for example, then the result of our function, which would be assigned to the page variable, would be ex, because everything will be just cropped from our string until uh, position number 2. Okay, so all this is done uh, to find out the name of the page, and then later it will be stored in the table. Okay, here it is. Great, let's continue. Then I'm just using the server object to retrieve the browser, the uh, remote address which is the IP of our user, and uh, the referrer. If they are unknown, I'm just setting unknown here. Then I'm assigning to time uh, some value using the time function which is actually the number of seconds since this date. And I'm assigning a regular date to our date. Okay, then, then I'm connecting to a database because I will work with tables now. And then I'm working at the beginning with our user online uh, table. Let's go to user online table. Okay, and here we can see that I'm only storing IP, time in seconds, and date. The idea here is to store all the new visitors and to delete them if the time was stored more than 3 minutes ago. So I will finally have only those visitors who were active for the last 3 minutes. And then I will know how many visitors are currently online. So I, I am selecting from user online table where IP is equal to user IP. So actually this is done to check if I have already a record for this IP. And if I have a record for this IP, okay, then I will update the time to the current time. Because if I already have this record, and it was accessed by this IP visitor again, then I will to say I will I need to set the time to the current time, and then I will check of course uh, if this time is uh, more than three minutes, uh, and if it is more than three minutes, I will just delete it. So I will all the time have the number of records here as the number of uh, visitors that were active at the last three minutes. Let's go on. If, if this IP doesn't exist in this uh, user online table, then I will need to add a new entry. Okay, I'm inserting a new entry with the time, date, IP, and the date and the IP. Okay, and when I did it, I want to go over all the fields in my table and check if they are out of date. So I will make time to compare time plus 180 seconds. And then I will just uh, delete those users where time is bigger than time to compare. So I will delete the records which is out of date and then all the records that will uh, still exist in my table will indicate that they, are, they belong to users which are uh, active or which were uh, active less than 3 minutes ago. Let's go back to the editor. Okay. And I also printed here some... Uh, I printed here this SQL just uh, to check that uh, the SQL was okay. I can delete it now. And I can delete this as well. Okay, great. So basically this is just checking how many visitors are online. Is adding a new visitor if this IP doesn't exist in our table. It is updating the time of an IP which already exists and it is deleting all the users that were active more than uh, three minutes ago. Okay, then I want to check uh, 